Online Analytical Processing, OLAP and Online Transaction Processing, in short OLTP, are two popular database systems that have evolved separately to serve distinct purposes. While both systems offer data storage and retrieval capabilities, they differ significantly in terms of their architecture, data flow and performance characteristics. OLAP is designed specifically for data analysis and reporting while OLTP is designed for online transaction processing such as online banking, inventory management and order processing. OLAP is optimized for analyzing large volumes of data and reporting metrics while OLTP is optimized for quickly processing individual transactions. There are many other differences between these two crucial data processing systems. So in this video, we'll be discussing the major differences between these two and how you can implement these in large transaction processing systems. So without any further ado, let's get started. Also, if you're an aspiring data analyst looking for online training and certifications from prestigious universities and in collaboration with leading experts, then search no more. Simply Learn's postgraduate program in data analysis from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM should be your right choice. For more details, use the link in the description box below. And with that in mind, over to our training experts. Digital approaches stand out in data processing and data analysis. Online analytical processing, that is OLAP and online transactional processing OLTP. Although they share the common goal of handling data, these methodologies differ significantly in their purpose, data structure, performance characteristics and design principles. OLAP is a powerful tool for organizations seeking to extract valuable insights from vast volumes of historical data. Its multi-dimensional data model organized in cubes comprising dimensions and measures allows for sophisticated analysis and in-depth exploration. With a focus on aggregating and summarizing information, OLAP empowers users to identify trends, patterns, and correlations across multiple dimensions. Despite longer response times, which are acceptable due to their analytical nature, OLAP excels in providing flexible ad hoc query capabilities for complex data explorations. Conversely, OLTP is designed to handle real-time transactional processing, ensuring the integrity and consistency of daily operational activities. By adopting a normalized data model, OLTP optimizes the storage and retrieval of individual records in high-speed environments. Its primary objective revolves around efficient data modification, such as inserting, updating, and deleting records. To support concurrent transactional operations, with a focus on rapid response times and maintaining data accuracy at record level, OLTP caters to the needs of time-sensitive business operations. Understanding the distinctions between OLAP and OLTP is crucial for organizations to choose the appropriate data processing approach based on their specific requirements. Today, we will be understanding the difference between OLAP and OLTP by going through the following details mentioned in the agenda. We will get started with the first one, which is its purpose, then data structures, data volume, response time, query complexity, data modification, data granularity, concurrency, data backup and recovery, and finally, the system design. So with the briefing of OLAP and OLTP discussed and the agenda for the session discussed, Let's proceed to the point of today's session, that is the major or top 10 differences between OLAP and OLTP. Firstly, we will go through the purpose of reporting, enabling users to gain insights from large volumes of historical data. It focuses on providing aggregated and summarized views of the data. OLTP OLTP is designed for real-time transaction processing, handling day-to-day -day operations, such as inserting, updating, and deleting individual records. Its primary objective is to ensure data integrity and support high-speed transactional operations. Next is data structure. OLAP uses a multidimensional data model called a queue. It organizes data into dimensions such as time, geography, and product, and measures such as sales and profit to facilitate multidimensional analysis and drill down capabilities. Then we have OLTP. OLTP uses a normalized data model with tables and relationships aiming for efficient transactional processing. It minimizes the data redundancy and ensures data consistency through the use of normalization techniques. Next ahead we have the data volume. OLAP deals with large volumes of historical data typically containing years of data. 
it focuses on analyzing and summarizing this vast amount of information. Next is OLTP. OLTP deals with relatively smaller volumes of data, usually representing real-time transactions happening within a shorter time frame. Moving ahead, we have response time. OLAP allows for longer response times since it deals with complex queries and large data sets. Users expect analytical reports to be generated within minutes or even hours. Coming into OLTP, OLTP requires vast response times to support real-time transaction processing. Users expect quick responses usually in milliseconds or seconds, a lot faster than OLAP. Moving ahead, we have query complexity. OLAP queries are usually complex involving aggregations, grouping, filtering and calculations across multiple dimensions. Users need flexible ad hoc querying capabilities to perform data analysis. Moving ahead, we have OLTP. OLTP queries are relatively simple, primarily focused on retrieving or modifying individual records based on specific transactional needs. Queries are typically short and transaction oriented. Moving ahead, we have the sixth one, that is data modification. OLAP is read-only or minimally updated. Data is loaded into OLAP cubes periodically, example daily or weekly, to update the analytical database with the new information. Coming into OLTP, OLTP involves frequent data modification including insertions, updates and deletions. It ensures that the transactional database remains up to date and reflects the current state of business. Next in the docket, we have data granularity. OLAP deals with aggregated and summarized data providing with a high level view of information across various dimensions. It focuses on trends, patterns and overall performance analysis. Next we have OLTP. OLTP operates at a detailed level capturing individual transactional data with a focus on maintaining accuracy and integrity at a record level. Next, we have the eighth point, which is about concurrency. OLAP involves a low level of concurrent users since users typically perform separate analysis and reporting tasks that emphasizes on analytical activities rather than concurrent transactional processing. Next, OLTP. OLTP requires a high level of concurrency to handle multiple users simultaneously accessing and modifying the same data. It focuses on maintaining data consistency and isolation amongst concurrent transactions. Nine point, data backup and recovery. OLAP is usually derived from OLTP system and backup and recovery are less critical. It can be generated from the transactional database if necessary. In case of OLTP, OLTP data is critical and backup and recovery processes are essential. Regular backups are taken to ensure data integrity and provide the ability to store the system in case of failures. And lastly, we have system design. OLAP systems are typically designed with a focus on read intensive operations. They employ specialized data storage and indexing techniques optimized for analytical queries and aggregations. OLAP databases are often denormalized to improve query performance. And in case of OLTP, OLTP systems are designed to handle a high volume of concurrent read and write operations. They prioritize data consistency and transactional integrity, often using normalized database structures to minimize redundancy and ensure data accuracy. With that, we have reached the end of this session on OLAP versus OLTP. Should you have any queries or you need any assistance regarding the PPT or any of the resources used in this session, Please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you and keep learning. Stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more.
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.